Okay, hi everyone. In this video, this is a video which I've been meaning to do for ages because I get asked this question loads. And it's about some stuff that I use uh, regarding light stands and umbrellas. So there's a couple of different light stands which you can get and on top of the different light stands you can get is also the different types of attachments that you get for on top of your uh, flash stand so you actually attach different types of flashes onto it. Now because I'm not being made to sell anything here, what I'm just going to tell you is the things to look for if you're getting some studio equipment. You can effectively go into any shop and get a studio kit which maybe costs you £300 and that might come with two lights, two stands, two everything, two umbrellas and all that kind of stuff. But if you're maybe building up slowly you might want to buy one thing at a time. So this is a rough idea of what you can buy and what you should buy. So I'm not saying get a Manfrotto light stand because it's better, because it's not. These things are just light stands, there's nothing really to them. But what I would say is you want ones which this bit comes down like that, that gives you as much height as possible. So once that's down there, this one's got three parts which go up to the top one, that goes up to there, and that one goes up to there. So that's nearly touching the roof. So. You know, that's how long it is. There's only one time when I've ever actually had a flash up that high. The other thing is you never really want to have your flash all the way up at the top there. And it's actually doing something just now which is quite beneficial. This is a hydraulic light stand. So if I... Notice it goes down nice and slowly. If I do the next one as well, if I un like loosen it, it just goes down nice and slow. So if you've got a big heavy light up here, it doesn't go bang, 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 like it does with my tripod. You know, the, the legs of my tripod, once I've unscrewed that, it just goes down. So this is great if you've got a bit of weight, if you've got a light on here, it goes down, but it's smooth. That's how it goes down. So that's one thing I would definitely say you want to look for. What I was also getting onto before I went onto that is you never really, you should never really have your light stand fully extended. So having it right there, you've only got a tiny little bit of metal in there. So whenever it says, well it's, it's about seven foot there, this goes up, this is probably a nine foot light stand once you've added on that extra bit because, okay, yeah, that's probably nine, ten feet. You never really want to fully extend it. What you always want to do is have it, so if that's the top, bring it down to about there. If that's the top for that one, you bring it down to about there. Just so there's a good amount of extra metal inside each other and that makes it a lot more sturdy it doesn't wobble as much so height is one thing you like want to take into account weight is another so this one's really lightweight you know you can throw it around it's not going to do any damage if you drop it it's not going to break it's pretty well made I'm, I'm not too uh, not too worried if I drop this anywhere it's also this is just a, a, a unbranded one I think this is one from the shop Calumet uh, which I buy quite a lot of my stuff from this other one here, now this has got an extra part to it. Got a light boom, I think is what you call it. Just take this out, we're not using that. So this one is a kind of more of a big boy light stand. If you notice the difference, even in that bit, you can see it's a lot bigger. Let's see how tall this one is. Okay, and that one's touching my roof already, and I've still got... Hold on. Go on. So yeah, anyway, this one's super... Oh, crap. Right, this one's super long, and uh, so it means you can get it really high up. Again, you're never really going to have your lights up there. But it, what it means is it's really nice and sturdy. Again, it's coming down nice and slowly. So if you have any lights, mm, that wasn't quite as slow. This one, much better, much more smooth. So if you've got any weights on here, it just doesn't smash it down. But with the bigger ones that you get, you have a wider stand at the bottom. So that can be if you need even more height. That can be if you want it a little bit shorter. But that is a nice big wide stand. And there's a reason why you might want ones which have a wider stand. And that's if you're using a bigger umbrella.